Good evening, how are you guys doing today? So I just got off work and today is Tuesday, September 14th. I'm about to call Mr. Max right now and uh, make a reservation uh, for October 8th and hopefully uh, we can get our reservations. Ooh, man, they're busy. All right, let's try it one more time. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Uh, all right, so uh, two attempt, nothing yet. So uh, let's give it a try later on today, around 8.30 then. All right, so it's been an hour. I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully, third time is the charm. Hello, thank you for calling this evening, Mr. Max. Hi, yes, sir. I was wondering. Yeah. Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear you? Yes, sir. I was wondering if I can make. Yeah, I was wondering if I can make a reservations. Oh uh, no, it's gonna be like uh, on October 8th, on Friday, October 8th, a month from now, so. How many? Uh, for four. Okay. And can we get a table? October. October 8th? Yeah, October 8th, yeah, that Friday, October 8th. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, because we coming from Houston, so we just wanna make sure we can get in, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, what time? Yeah, at five o'clock or five thirty, whichever you have available. Or. Okay, I have a, I have available five o'clock. Okay. Okay, okay, five o'clock. Five o'clock is good. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. All right. All right. I'll see you guys there. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Okay. We set October eight, five p.m. We got a table. All right. Look at the beautiful traffic in Dallas. Just like Houston. Nothing different. Good afternoon, how are you guys doing today? So as you guys can see, we are finally here at Mr. Max Izakaza. Iz Izakaza? Izakaya. Izakaza! Izakaya. Izakaza! Kaya. Kaya. He's a Kaya. Like you going Kaya, Kaya? Yeah, Kaya. He's a Kaya. So you guys don't know what Isa Kaza is. Uh, it's basically, well, I don't know either, but I think it's uh, come in, grab a drink, get comfortable, and enjoy. So I heard that this place is uh, supposed to be uh, one of the best Japanese restaurants here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And uh, I hope it's worth it since uh, we did drive 264 miles to get here. From the outside, it doesn't look like as much, but when you go inside, apparently it's magical. They only open five hours a day, so that's why you guys see that I make reservation a month in advance. So anyways, if you guys are ready for some authentic Japanese food, let's go. AKA Bamano. Wow. Oh, it's for David? Uh, about five o'clock for David? Yeah. Uh, middle table? Oh. Uh, we wrote it down, we have it ready. Yeah, ready for it, yes. All right, so, <laughs> all right, can I get the uh, five kind of uh, sashimi? The fried oyster, the uh, Kobe beef skewer, the grilled beef tongue, the grilled squid, and the adamame for the kids. Adamame. <laughs> all right, the uh, crispy fried chicken. Uh, but for that one, can we put the uh, sweet and sour sauce on the side, is that okay? Sweet and sour sauce on the side. Can I also get the Akadashi's tofu, fried squid legs? Can I get a bowl of uh, tonkatsu ramen? And also the homemade Japanese curry? And then do you want me to tell you the drink right now? I mean the uh, dessert right now or later? Uh, later, okay. And also can I get a Coke, green tea, oolong tea? What kind of beer you want? Okay, that should be it. All right, so we just got here and it's only been five o'clock. Within five minutes, this place is packed. And on the wall, if you can see it, it's the whole menu back here and over there as well. See the menu? 
It's on there. No, it's the first time. We drove from uh, Houston to here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Made reservation like a month ago. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. That's yeah. So you only here for the weekend? Yeah, it's just for the weekend, that's it. Thank you. Asahi beer, Japanese beer. Tastes like beer. Alright, thank you. Alright, the first item we got is the beef tongue. A little fatty, a little chewy. Pretty good. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Mama, mama, thank you. Want this one? Oh, you don't want chicken now? Thank you. Oh, can I get two extra bowl? Two extra small bowl? Alright, thank you. Tonkatsu look very promising. So. You guys want training chopsticks for the game? Uh, yes, please. and then you have scissors here too, I know. But to cut up the noodle? No. You have a knife though. A knife? Yeah, we'll take that. The noodle look, uh, looks good. Mm. Wow. Okay, so a few years ago when I was in New York and then I had the uh, ramen at Iputo and at Total Ramen. And the ramen tastes pretty similar to this. And here we have the Kobe beef skewer. Fry squid, crispy chicken for the kids, the fried oyster. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm. And once again, I ordered my eyes, huh, as usual. I guess I'll start with the uh, ramen. Mmm, ramen is on point, but the pork, I mean, if it's char, ooh, much better. Oh, you want more soup? You want to add you more soup? Yes. Uh, all right. Thank you. All right. Let's try this food real quick. It's actually pretty good. Let me try this fried oyster real quick. Oh, wow, I like it a lot. She ate two of them already. Mmm. Oh, so they use uh, fresh oysters, that is crunching, so good. That good food? Mm -hmm. Let's check out this Kobe beef skewer. I don't know about Kobe beef, but let's give it a try. Okay, it's not melt in your mouth, but it's a little buttery. It's pretty good. Here, cow, go. You want some? Let's try one with the uh, everything on there. You combine everything together. The onions with the uh, sauce. Pretty good. Uh, which one to try first? This is a, I think it's a yellow tail. Not the yellow tail? Mm -hmm. Yellow tail. Very buttery. I think I like that better than the uh, salmon. What are you gonna try next? Salmon. The other one was a little more um, sweeter, huh? You might as well try this agidashi tofu. Mm. Agidashi, not bad. If you like tofu, you'll like it though. Soft. I think that's a. Um, some kind of fish, I don't know. You have fish? <laughs> it's very crunchy. I know. It's like a sponge. Sorry, I was gonna ask you, um, can you explain? Cause you know, we don't eat sushi that much, so can you explain which one on which? Sorry. 
Okay. That's the one. This is bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna, okay. Mm -hmm. Salmon, yeah. obviously. This is salmon. Beard bonito. Sea bonito, mm -hmm. okay. And which one is this one right here? That one's herring roe. Herring roe. Herring eggs, yeah. Herring egg, okay. And this is mackerel. This is mackerel. Uh, yellowtail. Yellowtail. And shrimp. Okay, all right, thank you. Since this is the eggs. That's why it's so crunchy. You don't want it? All right, more for me. Okay, mackerel. Mackerel is not bad. Mackerel, when you eat a grill, it's good. But this one, uh, it's all right. You don't like it? Yeah. Like a grill? All right, tuna. That's not your favorite tuna. It's supposed to be more like uh, steak. Like steak? Like uncooked steak. At the end, towards the end, you, have a, you can taste a little butteriness, but that's about it. Say the best for last, EB EB. He had it before in Hawaii, remember? But you see, they deep fry this for you, but. Mm. It's sweet. It's kind of gooey, but I think you'll like it now. Just don't look at the head. So this one is $35, is it worth it? The tuna is usually expensive. The shrimp is usually expensive. Yeah, the shrimp is expensive. The bento is usually expensive. So, worth it. Yeah, so. You heard my wife. It's worth it to try. I think we waited a little bit too long for the curry, but let's give it a try. It's good? It is good. I think the only thing I haven't tried is this, the uh, fried squid. Mm. All right, so I think I tried pretty much everything already. Oh, the chicken. You can put a kid though. All right, let's try this fried chicken. And dip mayonnaise. All right, so everything we had was good. So what you think? What the what the uh, 264 mile drive here? <laughs> not worth it. But you say it's good, but it's not worth the drive. Okay, so I say it's good, but it's not worth the drive because it was a pretty long drive. I have to make it here by five o'clock, so yeah. Oh yeah. So if you happen to be in the Dallas area, come by and check out this place. But you do have to make a reservation though, because I have to make a reservation a month ahead to get this spot. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, uh, for dessert, do you guys have the cheesecake? Can we get one of that? And also, can I get one order of the um, strawberry ice cream? But do two scoops. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, two scoops of the uh, yuzu. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, make one more strawberry, but one scoop only. Though. The strawberry, one more, one more strawberry, but just uh, one scoop only. Okay. And also, can I get the check as well? All right, so our total with everything came out to be 138.78 before tip. All right, so she was pretty good. So 22% is $28. I'm gonna do 30 even. So with everything, it came out to be 168.78. Ready? All right. All right, let's try this cheesecake real quick. Oh man, it's like a cross between a flan and a cheesecake. And on top of that, we have some uh, oranges. Citrus flavor. Really good. Strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream is good, but it's okay. But a cheesecake, mm. that's what I'm talking about. Mm. 
Like it? It's good, right? Just don't give a kid any though. Don't give him any? Nope, don't give him any. Eat it yourself. It's so good, I have to get another piece. So good. Is it good? <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for CTN. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you soon.